What's happening? Hello world, welcome to your 23rd SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to partition a table using SQL Server Management Studio and how to do the same thing using a T-SQL script. So to begin with, go ahead and we are going to run the following script and what this is going to do is we're going to be creating a new table dbo.purchaseorderheader as I said in my last tutorial from now on I'm going to be doing the hows exclusively pretty much I'm not going to be getting into lengthy discussions concerning the why with tons of technical jargon as I had done in some previous tutorials. I'm doing this in the interest of making these uh, as concise as possible and that way just a lot easier to flow through. Um, so I will, what whys I do cover will be very minimal and if you do have further questions on the why, uh, the, the way things work, feel free to leave those questions in the comment section. So okay, let's go ahead and execute this guy. Commands completed successfully. All right. Now, moving on, we can get rid of this. Don't need it. Now, we're going to be going to databases. We want to expand the databases folder. We want to expand AdventureWorks 2012. We want to expand our table folder. And it looks like we're going to need to refresh here, actually, because I don't see what I'm looking for. All right, let's do that again. Tables. There's what I'm looking for. DBO.PurchaseOrderHeader. We want to right-click that. We're going to Storage. Then we're going to Create Partition. And you can just click Next on this guy. All right. We're looking for order date right here. And we're going to click next. Now we want to check this radio button existing partition function. And if you remember, this is the one I had you create in the last tutorial with the T-SQL script. And we are going to click next. And then same thing with the partitioning scheme. You created this in the last tutorial, tutorial 22. We're going to go ahead and click next. Now, because you chose an existing function and scheme, the map partitions page should be pre-filled with the correct values as shown right here. Pretty cool. All right, next. Now we want to select run immediately. And we're going to click next. Okay, and then here's our summary again. We can expand these if we want to see what's what. Alright, we're going to click finish. Success. Now you know how to create a partition, uh, to partition a table using SQL Server Management Studio. Now I'll show you how to do the same thing with a T SQL script. Okay, to do the same thing with the T-SQL script, we'll go here to the new query editor. I'm going to paste this guy in. Execute. Commands completed successfully. Um, something to... said I'm not going to be covering the whys too much, but just something to note that this script creates a standard table. However, note that the last line right here tell SQL Server to create the table using the specified partition scheme and order date as the partition column. So, okay. Now, we can get rid of this. We don't need him anymore. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to partition an index in SQL Server Management Studio. But to begin, we need to run a script for this. Small little script here. All right, go ahead and copy that guy down. Hit execute. Man's completed successfully. Okay. 
Okay, now that we've run that, let's go back up here and refresh this. So it's like we're going through from the beginning. All right, now we're going to go to AdventureWorks 2012, Tables. And we're going to go here to the order header. We're going to expand Indexes. And we're going to this newly created index that was just created with this script. We're going to right click this. We're going to go to Properties. Now from here we're going over to Storage under Select a Page. Okay, we want to make sure that the Partitioning Scheme radio button is checked. PHPO order date is selected from the drop down it is and then we want to go down here to table column and make sure that we have order date selected not ship date or modified date okay then we are going to click OK and we're done now I'm going to show you how to do that same thing with the T SQL script so we can get rid of this guy now don't need him anymore All right, let's go up to our new query editor. Type in the following code and then execute. Commands completed successfully. Now you have just done the same thing. You have just partitioned and indexed using a T SQL script. You now know how to partition and index using T SQL as well as Management Studio and you know how to partition a table using T SQL as well as Management Studio, you are a partitioning rock star. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you in the 24th pictorial. Thanks.